Hey everyone, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and today I'm making a video that uh, is going to piggyback off of a video I made uh, yesterday about how to uh, send a live stream from a Canon XF400 to your uh, router and then get it picked up onto your computer. So um, in the previous video, I showed how to set up that connection and I'll have that link right here so you can go back and watch that if you're not aware of how to get the camera set up in order to send that signal out through the Ethernet port on the camera. Once you've got that established, then you're going to want to be able to go to your computer that is also connected to the same router and pull that connection uh, onto your computer. So um, in today's uh, video, I'm going to use uh, OBS Studio to create that connection. So once we have OBS open, uh, we're going to go to our sources box. We're going to click on add. Then we're going to go to media source. So what we want next is uh, we want to name this source. So um, some options you might consider would be, let's say you've got multiple cameras. You might call this camera A and then the other cameras that you're going to add would be camera B and C and so on and so forth or camera one or if you've got a Sony and a Canon and uh, you know JVC you might call them Sony cam or Canon cam whatever it is for my purposes today I'm just going to call it Canon XF 400 once you've got it named you're going to click OK and then we are going to open up the properties for this source so the first thing we want to do is click off of local file because we are not uh, using a local file. We are actually going to uh, type in our URL or our IP. So the, uh, the, the, the formula for that is we're going to first enter our protocol that we entered on the camera. In this case, we have UDP. And the next thing you're going to want to do is enter the IP address of the camera. So we had 192.168.1.80, okay? And then finally, we are gonna wanna enter the destination port number that we also created on that camera. This was 5,000, all right? Once we've got that, we're good to go. We can click okay. And we are gonna then click the transition button. The transition button is gonna allow this connection we just created to come live. There we go. So here is our feed from our camera. Um, at this point, we can um, create any other content or any other sources added in, and we can go transition back and forth from one, from one to the other to create a live stream, to, to create a, a recording for a session, or however we want to do that. Um, Give me one second here. So here I am in front of the camera. Uh, so I just wanted to show you real quick that this is in fact a live, a live stream that it is capturing on the computer. So um, again, we have the Canon XF400. Um, in the previous video, I showed you how to set this camera up uh, with all the, uh, the IP address, the, uh, the, the port that is, uh, you're gonna, uh, the destination port, uh, the protocol that you're gonna you're you're gonna create, as well as how to uh, set up the router for it to receive the signal and connect your computer to it. Okay, um, so again, this would be great for uh, a live stream you want to put on YouTube. Um, if you have a conference you're trying to uh, 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 stream to uh, some other recipi recipients that couldn't be there for the day of the event. Uh, church services, uh, uh, you know, things like that. This is the way that you would want to go about doing that type of uh, event. Um, okay, let's go back over to the computer. And again, that's all set up through the Ethernet. So there's going to be some latency, and that has not, nothing to do with the camera. Uh, that is more to do with your network. Uh, the faster your network, the less latency there will be. Um, also, cable length and type of cable. So, um, you know, uh, a Cat6 probably would be the best cable to use. But again, your network is going to be the, the main factor into reducing latency for this type of setup. Um, if you have any questions, 
uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can always email me at bbuck822 at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and until the next video, I hope you guys make some great content, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.